So we're over at the ninth annual Vintage Trucks of Florida Club, and I'm standing with uh, Mr. Steve Melton. How are you today, sir? I'm very good. Thanks, Chris, for coming and being part of this event. Absolutely. You know, anything that happens in Florida, my home state, I got to be there. And if there's if there's trucks, I got to be there. So good for you. Speaking of trucks, tell us about uh, what you're standing in front of. This is a, a 1929 model AA Ford. This is a was used as a truck in the day and was also was used to uh, carry produce and heavy equipment. And the reason it's a truck is because it's distinguished with the model AA rather than just the single A. That means it's a truck. And so what this truck has done, they have taken and cut off the cab and have made this into what we call a doodle bug, but it is still the original truck with the whole frame, and they put in a rocking chair for a seat, and the cab is off, but it's a wonderful driver, and we just love to run it around. Okay, so how long have you owned this for? Oh, about five years. And interesting thing is, if you notice down here on the floorboard, there is a two-speed transmission where you can put it in low range or high range, and then you have the three speed on, on the uh, transmission. So it gives you actually six running gears, which has a really low end for crawling for when you're in the field. So looking at this truck, how do you think this was used the most? Yeah, it would probably been used up north, uh, either hauling grain with it or used to, for produce or hauling hay. It would not have had a huge bed, but it could have had a big enough bed they could have fed cattle with it. And so this is all the original Model AA Ford uh, axles. And the engine is completely the standard 40 horse engine. As you can see, it is a flathead with the four, four pistons four cylinder and the unusual uh, distributor which has the unusual spark plug wires are just they're just plain straps of wire not insulated but this is very unusual you can take that cap off and get to your points to adjust your distributor very easy Ford had a this is one of the greatest designs of the early trucks right okay uh, what else is unique about this uh, about this truck? Okay, this Model AA had a, if you can tell, look at the springs on this. That is a tremendous amount of weight that could carry. This could be probably a one-ton truck um, that's that was used to carry heavy equipment with. But what I have done, I have tried to duplicate the old Beverly Hillbillies look. And so this would be a clamp it truck and I put a rocking chair in here, which is secured where granny can ride in the, in the rocking chair. All right, well, uh, can you fire it up for us here? Once this uh, tractor goes by. So we've got a starter right up in here. Looks pretty good. And we What's the road speed on it? How fast does it go? Probably about 45 or 50 is cruising. I don't want to push it much more than that. But with the loose steering wheel, I don't want to even go that fast. <laughs> so there's a lot of play in here. Oh, so I imagine that you uh, that you trailered it here then? Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, yeah, we put it on a trailer, but it's easy to drive and actually a lot of fun. Awesome. Now, you mentioned that you got something else here you wanted to show us. What's that? Yes, there's a federal truck that was used in World War II at the Army airports during the uh, during the war and it was a crane truck to lift wrecked planes off the runway 
and the unusual part about this federal record truck is that it can be used for hand cranking, which we'll demonstrate in a little bit. All right, let's go have a look.